All right guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how to do five really simple effects in Premiere Pro. No third party plugins. Let's get into the video. Ooh, cold and dark here. Just put the clocks back, forward, whatever they do to make it darker. Winter's well and truly on its way here, so you might be spending more time editing, so this might be a good video for you. Anyway, Neil from Neil Collins Recording. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back to my channel if you're not. Either way, appreciate you watching my videos. If you do enjoy the video, find it useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below, read and reply to all your comments. It's always good to start a conversation with you guys. Always great to hear from you. If you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. I'm releasing content on a Monday and Thursday, gear tech tutorials, reviews, all that sort of thing. So please do subscribe to the channel. I put together some playlists for you, editing playlists, shooting playlists, drone playlists, hopefully something for everyone. But if there are any specific videos you'd like me to make, then please do leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do. So I'm gonna show you how to do five really simple effects in Premiere Pro without any third party plugins, just using some of the effects in Premiere Pro itself. So let's jump in and have a look. So I've got this video here. It's a music video that I filmed the other week, uh, the Jack J Hutchinson band, uh, great blues rock, UK blues rock band. So if that's your sort of thing, definitely check them out, Jack J Hutchinson. Okay, so all I've done is I've dragged the clip onto my timeline and I've cut it up into five individual clips for the purpose of this tutorial. So I can show you five different effects. First effect I'm gonna call 3D Pop, okay? So all we do for this is if we duplicate the clip by holding Alt and dragging it up, now we've got two identical clips, one above each other. So on the top clip, if we go into the effect controls, go into our effects tab, and we're gonna type in find edges. And then we're gonna drag that clip into our effect controls, okay? And all we're gonna do is we're now gonna blend this with the bottom clip using either overlay or soft light, I would say. So let's use overlay. And what you can see, I'm gonna play it back, is you get this sort of 3D effect where the, everything really pops out because all the edges are now really defined. Um, it's a nice little effect. Um, might be a bit exaggerated in this case, but you can see if you play around with it, you'll be able to get some nice effects for your videos. So that's number one. Second effect I'm gonna show you is how to get sort of a stop motion effect. And all you do for this one is you're gonna to go to your clip, you're gonna to go to effects, you're gonna to go to the effects tab, you're gonna to go to, just type in time, and then you'll click on posterize time and drag that into your effect controls. Okay, and as you can see, there's only one setting on here, the frame rate. At the moment it's set at 24. So if you leave it on 24, it's just gonna play your video as normal. If we change the frame rate to 12, then it's gonna play 12 frames of every 24. So it's gonna drop every other frame. So you're gonna get like a juddery effect. And I'll show you what I mean. So if you play it back now, you can see there's a slight juddery effect to the video. Stop motion effect, okay? And you can really exaggerate it. So if we took it down to six, you'll see this effect even more prominent. So it's a nice way of adding that stop motion effect to your video. Okay, so that's number two. Now for the third effect, I'm gonna show you how to make your footage look like a security camera. You need to use a few effects for this. So if we go to our effects tab, first thing we're gonna to wanna to type in is blind. And then it'll bring up this Venetian blinds effect. So we'll bring that onto our effect controls. Transition completion, you're gonna change that to 20. Direction, you're gonna change that to 90 so that we get a horizontal effect. And as you can see, we now have these Venetian blind lines on our video, okay? Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is type in white and drag the black and white effect onto our video. Now that all that's done is make it black and white. So the next thing you wanna do is go to your effects tab, type in time again, and again, we're gonna use the posterized time. We're gonna change it to eight, which is like a third of the frame rate. 
Finally, we're going to go to time code and drag that onto our effect controls as well. And now when you play it back, you can see you've got like a security camera type video. Okay. You can play around with this a bit. You can put some glitch effects on there. You can play around with the time code. You can put it in the top corner. That's basically how you make your footage look like a security camera. Okay, cool. Fourth effect I'm going to show you is a ghosting effect. Okay, so for this one, we're going to alt drag and we're going to create a duplicate clip. And on the top clip, we are going to go to effect controls. We're going to type in time in our effect tab and we're going to choose posterize time again. As you can see, this is an effect I like to use quite a lot. It's a nice little effect to know how to use. So we're going to change this to 12. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to blend mode and we're going to go to screen. And what you'll see is, especially if you watch the bass player, Laz his name is, you can see that there is that ghosting effect on the video now which is quite effective, I think you'll agree. If you change the frame rate down even lower to say six, you'll see it even more prominent. Okay, so that's a cool little effect to know how to do. That's the ghosting effect. Okay, the last effect I'm gonna show you is, I'm gonna call it chroma. So you're gonna to go to invert, and you're gonna drag that into your effect controls. Okay, what this does is it really plays around with the individual color channels. Um, but the two that we're going to look at is in phase chrominance and quadrature chrominance. So the two chrominant ones, because these are the ones that give you the effect that I most like. So if we click on the in phase chrominance, it gives you this really nice effect. And what you can do is you can blend it with the original so you can have less of the effect or more of the effect so you can. So we did it at like 20%. That's the original footage, and that's with the effect on. That's the original footage, that's with the effect on. So I like that. And the other one is this quadrature chrominance. And this is used on quite a lot of videos to make it look a bit trippy. This looks really good on videos outside. Um, if you've got skies or grass, see what this does to the colors. It's really effective, especially if you're trying to get like a trippy kind of dreamy feel then this effect is definitely worth looking at. All right, so that's all five of them. Really quick one today. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did find it useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought of the video. And please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. I'm releasing content on a Monday and Thursday at the moment, gear tech reviews, tutorials, all that sort of thing. I've put together some playlists on the YouTube channel now video editing, video shooting, audio, drones, all sorts of things. So hopefully there's something there for everyone, but if there is something you'd like to see, then please do leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.